Welcome to Helmut Fischer. Today we will show you how you can easily and independently perform a calibration for your measurement task. Fischer Scope X-ray instruments are shipped from the factory with a variety of pre-installed pure element spectra, allowing a wide range of measurement tasks to be solved with high precision. A measurement without further specific calibration is called a standard free measurement. However, if there are particularly high demands on the accuracy of the measurement, or if the measured values are to be traceable to national standards, your specific measurement task must be calibrated on the instrument using appropriate standards. For this, you need one or more suitable calibration standards. Helmut Fischer operates its own DEX accredited calibration laboratory for the production of certified calibration standards, on request also for customer material. For example, we can also certify your own sample as a calibration standard. Now place the calibration standards as well as the uncoded base materials of the standards. If the base material of your samples differs from this, please also place it. Here it is important that the nominal values of the calibration standards correspond to the expected measured values. Otherwise, no improvement of the measured values will be achieved by the calibration. For calibration standards for a Fischer Scope X-ray instrument, the following rule applies. The calibration standard acts in a range from half to twice of its certified value. This means a 5 micrometer thick zinc or iron calibration standard covers a range of 2.5 to 10 micrometer zinc on iron. Feel free to contact us directly to work together to determine the calibration standards that are the best solution for your specific application so you can get the best results. After selecting the appropriate calibration standard, you must store its certified values in the calibration set of the corresponding measurement task. To do so, call up the Calibrate menu. Use the Input Override button to store a new calibration standard. Enter the certified values of your standard in the value column. In the U column, enter the uncertainty of the certified value. Please note that the uncertainties of the Fischer calibration standards is of the Fischer calibration standards are always specified with a confidence level of 95%. If U is to be entered for your instrument with a confidence level of 68%, you must divide the certified uncertainties by 2. Last but not least, give the standard a unique name, for example the 5-digit letter code. If necessary, you can store additional calibration standards in the measurement task. Next, we enter the number and duration of calibration measurements per calibration standard. Use the Info button in the Application tab to specify the duration of a single calibration measurement for TCAL-SEC and the number of calibration measurements per calibration standard for NCAL. The duration of a single measurement should be two to three times the actual measurement time on the test part. Furthermore, at least three, better five different measuring points per standard should be selected. Now the actual calibration can be performed. After clicking on Calibrate under Calibrate, you will be prompted to first measure the uncoded base materials of the calibration standards and your sample. If the base material in the measurement task is defined with only one element, the calibration of the base materials is not necessary. Afterwards, the calibration standards must be calibrated according to the entered calibration set. Please note, the certified value of a calibration standard refers to the mean value of the 2 by 2 mm square in the center of the standard, not to the homogeneity. Therefore, the five individual measurements should be evenly distributed over this area to compensate for any minimal local variations. In the final step of the calibration, you assess whether the measured values match the certified values. This is very important, which is why special care is required here. 
Basically, three columns are displayed per quantity to be measured. The columns with the addition set contain the certified values of the calibration standards that you have stored. The columns with the addition Theor contain the measured values determined without standards. The columns with the addition Core contain the values that were calculated from the measured values determined without standards due to the calibration. Please note, the values in the columns Set and Core should be almost identical. As a further rule of thumb, for a successful calibration, the values in the columns set and theor must not deviate from each other by more than 10% for coating thicknesses and by more than 2% for concentrations. If all values meet these rules, confirm the calibration result. Otherwise, please check the calibration procedure for errors. In special cases, these rules can be deviated from. Please contact us directly for this purpose. This concludes the calibration of your measurement task. As you can see, a calibration with our WinFTM software is an easy exercise. Rely on Helmut Fischer's know-how and solve any measurement task with maximum precision and reliability. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on LinkedIn.